if you've hung out with me in Discord, you know one of my biggest pet peeves is when someone refers to themselves as an influencer. What the hell are you influencing? Social media influencers, the entire term just makes me gag. And the other one is social experiments or pranks. Now, YouTube isn't so bad. It used to be pretty bad with all these social experiments. It used to drive me nuts. And I still catch my kids when they're scrolling through YouTube, ending up on these ridiculous videos, which are social experiments. Like, let's throw an egg at a stranger's head as a social experiment. And then when the person wants to fight, they go, bro, it's just a prank. It's just a prank, bro. Social experiment, just a prank. It drives me nuts that these things still happen on YouTube. But hey, it is what it is. And those videos get millions of views for some reason. So this here, in light of what's happening with COVID-19, ah, uh, where do we begin? Well, I don't have to say anything because you probably read the, the headline here already. Lars, a social media influencer, gag, <laughs> test positive for coronavirus. Darwin Award. All right. Uh, this... Now, maybe I'm old school, or maybe I'm just very, very old, but in my day, a prank used to be something you did to someone else. So maybe that's changed now, because now the prank is that you prank yourself by licking a toilet seat. Well, guess what happened to this guy? Uh, he tweeted out, yeah, I'm going to retweet for coronavirus awareness for some reason, and he goes and licks a toilet seat, and... Next thing, he tweets from hospital, he's positive for COVID-19. Not laughing, look, it's pretty serious. Uh, young people have died. And it's very, very uncomfortable to be hit with pneumonia from this. Um, well, then it goes on, if you actually go to his Twitter account, his account has been suspended, and rightfully so. Uh, the DOJ now saying that people intentionally spreading coronavirus could be charged with terrorism. It sounds pretty damn extreme, but think about it. If you are positive, you have COVID-19, and you go and cough, and an old person, or lick something that an old person has touched, and they get it, there is a very strong possibility that that old person dies. Uh, so it sounds extreme, but uh, look, it's happening. I uh, remember this genius over here, I don't know if you've seen this one yet. This guy goes and licks a whole bunch of products on a shelf, right? And uh, look what happened. Yeah. Charged with terrorist threat. Uh, he had it coming, and, and a lot of people still aren't taking this seriously, and this is very, very serious. So if he was positive and he's licking these things, and an old person comes along and catches it from him and they die, rightfully so. So don't be stupid, which is a lot to ask from a lot of people. But you're about to see something very special happen here, all right? Here is a guy, this was just posted uh, five hours ago, licking the handrail in the subway in New York, all right? Now, he's pretty unique looking. It probably is not going to take long to find... This guy has no idea how much trouble he just got himself into. I guarantee this is just a prank. It's a social experiment, right? You can see the guy sitting next to him. He's very uncomfortable. He's looking over. He's like, holy crap, like, I'm sitting away from that. And you know what? You scroll down a bit, and how difficult... Will... Oh, okay, well, first of all, he puts his actual... Uh, Twitter account name in there, but it doesn't take long before someone actually recognizes the guy and posts his actual YouTube channel. And if you go to his YouTube channel, oh, the cringe. It's one of those damn social experiment channels. And, you know, I, I can't believe YouTube still allows this stuff. Um, dropping 5,000 bouncy balls as a social experiment. And uh, I'll save you the trouble. I actually went and I watched that one. And he drops 5,000 balls in his park and everyone comes to help him. Like Everyone's being nice and they help him put it back. And he goes, what a great social experiment. Uh, yeah, one of these. You know where this is going, right? It's a prank, it's a prank. It's a, prank. It's a, prank. It's a social experiment. It's a social, it's a social experiment. experiment, bro. It's a TV show. Social it's a TV experiment. Show. Look, it's a camera. It's a camera. It's okay, a he was smashing glass bottles on a homeless person. Well, the homeless person was a buddy of his. Social experiment, bro. It's a TV show. See him needs to come back. It's, it's a TV show. Social experiment. Well, uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I have a very strong suspicion that uh, this gentleman is about to get a visit from law enforcement because, yeah, that is not something to do in light of what's happening in New York. If you haven't been following the news, uh, this is what's happening outside Bellevue Hospital, uh, a makeshift morgue, because they're running out of space to store dead bodies. They've got refrigerated trucks 
sitting outside because they're expecting a massive surge in dead bodies in New York. And while that's happening, this genius is doing that. So this is no time for social influencers to be pulling their social experiments. This is serious. And I think this guy, we're about to see this in real time. He's going to experience how serious this actually is. Uh, talking to a friend of mine who's actually in Brooklyn, she is scared. She's really, really worried. And I can't blame her because if a hospital is really renting out refrigerator trucks, they're expecting something very, very bad to come their way. And you know the numbers out of New York are climbing rapidly. Uh, where is it this morning? 20,280 dead. And this is numbers from yesterday, not even today. So guys, listen, don't be stupid. Stay safe. Uh, and for God's sakes, if you're an influencer pulling a social experiment, don't do this. It's not going to end up well for you. Uh, all right, guys, stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one.